This chronograph doesn't get any love, and why is that? Comment down below. Ignore the shirt. I read the comments. Why are you pausing? You look like you're lying. So we covered this watch a couple times before. This one will be the last time, I promise. Now let's check it out. Introducing the all new Seiko Speed Timer SRQ039 with a gorgeous deep sky blue dial. Wow. But you know what? I think the white one is still the one to get. But that one is limited. And this one comes really close, coming in at 3,000 USD. Whoa, that's a little bit pricey. However, it's a fully in house automatic chronograph with vertical clutch and column wheel from a house that made the world's first. So the speed timer name has legacy in the chronograph world. It's an icon and you're going to pay an iconic price. <laughs> the case shape reminds us of the stopwatch used in the Tokyo Olympics of 1964. That is what inspired this watch. So of course it does have pump style pushers and a huge 7.5 mil coin edge grip crown that is push pull giving the watch 100 meters of water resistance now let's stop that chronograph crisp smooth clicky actuation thanks to the column wheel and let's reset it snaps back instantly this thing is awesome to use very clicky very fun let's start it up again and do those measurements 42.5 in diameter thickness of 15.1 with a double dome sapphire crystal with clear anti-reflective coating and a lug to lug of 49.6 i don't know why but on the seiko website it says 45.5 they still haven't corrected it the watch has super hard coating from seiko with excellent immaculate brushing on those lugs and it looks almost Zeratsu that high polish huge bezel now this one only comes on strap I wish it was on bracelet I think the blue and the bracelet would look amazing 20 mil down to 18 you do get a Seiko signed deployant clasp these are nice this adds to the thickness I would say half a mil to a mil having this display case back and there is no need all the chronograph goodness that we like to see is on the top side. So from the back, it looks like a basic 6R movement. Now the hands do have a broad tip, unlike the 037, which have sharper tip Dauphine style hands. So this one, a little bit more broadsword style with loom, but the iconic seconds hand with that downward bend near the edge of the dial is still here with a beautiful large counterbalance. Love the sweep on this thing, 2088 VPH, nice and smooth. We got the running second subdial at three o'clock and a 30 minute subdial at nine o'clock. Applied jagged indices that play with the light in amazing ways. It just looks so great. We have a sloped rehot tachometer scale in black all the way around. And the date window is symmetrical at six o'clock where we like to see it. And it's a nice big window. And you know what? Let's do the date change. Let's stop that chronograph. Keep an eye on the date. Okay, so it changed instantly almost. Not like the normal 6R movements that start around 11. And it's like an hour of a crooked date. So they changed the date change mechanism here. Very nice. Here it is on my six and a half inch wrist. And you know what? It's not a cushion case, but it still has the Seiko magic. I can't believe how well it wears. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. Let's do the weight on the strap. 120 grams. Powering the watch, we do have the 8R46. It is jeweled to the nines. 34 joules, wow. 45 hours of power reserve, hack hand wind automatic, and of course, 288 VPH, a nice smooth sweep. Now, remember the white one? We did it in two positions. It was one second a day and zero. Fourth and final round, plus five. And then we did the 037. That one was averaging 13 and six. So about 10 on the wrist, plus 10. 
This one seems to be doing much better like the white one. A little bit more stable. Let's ignore that first number. And we got six, four, four. No B error. Very nice. Uh, the chronograph is running. And the fourth and final round, ignoring the first zero. Wow. Okay, so on the wrist, it's going to perform what? Plus three, plus four. Very nice. In the intro, I mentioned that this watch is not loved by the community. So advantage point, you guys. So if you're interested in this watch, email me down below. Kavar Jewelers, I will make sure they really take care of you on the speed timers. And guys, if you're still here, please remember to subscribe, like the video, and maybe check out the videos on the right of your screen right now. And I'll see you in the next one.